it's Ashton. And it's John. What up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be reacting to... 10 Reasons Not to Visit Australia. Aussie reacts by the channel Isaac Butterfield. Yes, this guy is funny as hell. This was a suggestion from Jordan Coxon. Jordan, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Go and subscribe to Isaac Butterfield. If you guys like this video, it's very important to support the channels you like. Um, you guys can also help support us. Click on the link down below in the description if you guys donate $10 through Streamlabs. We'll let you pick one of the next videos we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video, link, title, and your email. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get the good stuff. Let's get that gravy. And let's get to the video. Reasons not to visit Australia was a video released last week by YouTuber Hashtag Mind Warehouse. I know what you're thinking. It sounds reputable. So why don't we have a look at this video to see what these foreigners think about our beautiful country. So here are 10 reasons why you shouldn't go to Australia. I swear to God it's going to be because the animals that live there. This, these have got to be, be 10 different animals that live here. Because Australia has got the most badass, like, one venomous animals be, in the world. One of them will be, what is it, the spider? The brown recluse. Yeah, the brown recluse. <laughs> so it hides in your shoes, just waiting for you to put them on. You put that shoe on, you're done, man. And snakes. I can't. I don't know what's, what kind of snakes they have, but snakes might be in there. Okay, this is going to sound stupid, guys, but do Komodo dragons live in Australia? I'm not sure. And they might be dumb, but you I know. Look it up? Yeah, look it up where Komodo dragons are from, because they're also a very dangerous creature. They don't actually have poison in their mouths. It's bacteria that's just so vile it instantly gives you an infection upon bite that kills you just as fast as any kind of poison or venom would. Um. So Indonesia, Indonesia. four islands with Komodo. So. It's very close to Australia, then. Indonesia. It? It's just north of Australia, yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't too far off, but kind of an idiot, I guess. And let's get back to the video. Let's get it on. <clears throat> let's get it on. Ocean current. What? Ocean current. Fucking... What about surfing? What? How do you start a list with reasons not to visit a country with a rip? Well, you know, the only reason you encounter a rip is if you get into a rip. That's not a reason not to visit a country. It's a reason not to get into rips. Fuck True. You. Well, we're sorry to disappoint you, but you're not very likely to find a decent beach in Australia. What? That's... How many fucking great beaches does Australia have? Have these pricks ever been to Australia or to a beach? They're all fucking amazing. Fucking hell. And even if there are no dangerous creatures, there's always the chance you'll get drawn into the ocean by a strong underwater current. Here's a hot tip. If you're a foreigner coming to Australia and you don't want to be caught in a rip, here's the number one tip. Make sure you go into the water fully clothed. I'm talking jeans. I'm talking button-up t-shirts. I'm talking Nike joggers. Make sure you're fully clothed, and that way you definitely won't be caught in a rip. I fucking promise you. Cassowary. Cassowary? What the fuck is this list? What the fuck? It has a sharp beak and long, strong claws. <laughs> surely, surely this is bullshit. How is number two on the list? A cassowary. Have you ever seen a cassowary? Maybe this bird has a nasty temper. This creature is totally unpredictable because it always attacks first. But these people are acting like cassowaries are running around shopping centres just wreaking havoc amongst the Australian population. <laughs> I've never seen a cassowary in my life. This bird is in the Guinness World <laughs> Records as the most dangerous bird in the world. They're talking like these cassowaries started the Cronulla riots. Like, what the fuck are they going on about? I get it. It's the world's most dangerous bird. That's not a very impressive list. That's exactly like saying you're the most responsible, conscientious cyclist in the world. You're still a fuckwit. <laughs> snakes. Okay, snakes. That's a legitimate point yeah. on this. Yes. List. As far as I'm concerned, snakes can get fucked. Okay? This is a legitimate point on this list. I'm very intrigued to hear what they have to say. Most snakes in Australia are venomous, and there are a lot of them, and they're practically everywhere. There are a lot of venomous snakes in Australia, but only about 12 will kill you, and they'll only kill you if you fuck with them. Leave the fucking snakes alone. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Hand off snakey. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> but that's no consolation for when you suddenly find a snake in the toilet tank, under your bed, or in the middle of a supermarket. Oh yeah, the middle of a supermarket. I was at Aldi the other day. They were selling microwaves, laundry baskets, and red belly black snakes. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? Oh. They're in your laundry. They're in your sink. They're up your ass. Chill the fuck out. Just leave them alone. Spiders. Yeah, I agree. Fuck spiders. Let's see what <laughs> they have to say about spiders. Because just like snakes, they are everywhere. You can see them in basements. Basements? Why is basement the first example right. of where you can see spiders? Oh, you can always see spiders but in basements. You have so many examples you could use in your shoes. Near the tap, That's what the I back said. of the house, underneath your electrical box. But you've gone with basements. Who in Australia has a fucking basement? Each one of these creatures will try to bite you if it feels danger, so keep calm and don't attack it with a mop. Was that an attempt at humour? Like, that is the shittest joke I've ever heard. Whatever you do in Australia, make sure you don't attack the spider with a mop. <laughs> you won't aggravate them. Get fucked. Sun. The sun? How can the sun be a reason? Get Fuck, fucking next. Dingo. Dingo, okay. Didn't expect to see that one on the list. Didn't expect to see any of these on the list. <laughs> Dingoes aren't that dangerous. I guess they're dangerous if you're an irresponsible parent in the middle of the outback in the 70s. <laughs> but seriously, it's a dogs. circumstance Don't that happened, oh shit. Sure they won't fuck with you, all right? Most dogs will attack you if you fuck around with them. Fucking pommies, I tell you. It was tamed some time ago, but then it returned to its natural habitat. Crazy. That's 100% a Tasmanian tiger or a thylacine, ladies and gentlemen, not a dingo. This is how stupid I, know, I was going to say, that didn't look anything. You can't tell the difference between an animal that's been extinct for many years and a fucking dingo. These fuckwits have done zero research <laughs> for this video, and I wouldn't be surprised if the next reason they have not to come to Australia is something so fully ridiculous that I'll spew. I'll fucking spew. Fire ants. I had fire ants at my fucking primary school. How do fire ants make a list about the worst things in Australia? I understand not coming to a country if there's ants attacking people at will, murdering humans all over the spot. But ants are easy to avoid. Don't fucking lay in an ant's nest and you'll be fine. I get it. Don't snort them. You don't <laughs> yeah. want to get stung by an ant. Guess what? Nor do I. But I don't see me seeking refuge in another country because I'm worried about fire ants coming to get me. Here's a tip. They're not going to come and get you. Why? Because they're very small ants. One of the biggest problems for the people living in Australia is ants. It's not the, bi the biggest problem. What the fuck? I'm fucking sick of this fucking video. It's got an, I've got another fucking five minutes of this video to go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stinging brush. Stinging brush. Don't come to Australia because of leaves. These pricks are really clutching at straws. Alligators. Alligators? I think these dumb fucks mean crocodiles. <laughs> I don't know how they'd fuck that up. Like, I don't think... I don't know how someone would fuck that up so badly. Australia's quite known for crocodiles. Yeah. I mean, the crocodile hunter is from Australia. Croc Dundee is from <laughs> Australia. And crocs, well, they're not from Australia, but I saw them in Australia. Like, how fucking, <laughs> fuck me, this video is fucking dodgy. I'll tell you what. Okay, uh. so it's time for number one. Let's see what the number one reason not to come to Australia is. I'm excited for this. I reckon. This is just a build-up. I reckon number one's gonna be a cracker. It's gotta be great. Parenti. Who the fuck is Parenti? It's like a Komodo dragon. Lizards known as Parentis. Just their appearance makes you feel scared and run away as That's far a straight as up Komodo dragon, isn't it? This may come to a shock that big? to all of you. I'm not a lizard expert They're by huge. any means. Really? But I'm pretty sure that that is a Komodo dragon. Yeah, I'm pretty the sure too. Lizard on Earth. Yeah. That's a hundred percent a fucking Komodo dragon. Look at the size <laughs> of the creature. Komodo dragons can weigh up to 120 kilos. Very That's heavy creatures. That's a fucking Komodo dragon, you dickhead. Komodo dragons don't live in Australia. That's my point that I'm getting here. I'm sure that this parenti that lizard, if it exists at all, is a big Just lizard. It. But it's not that fucking big. It's not going to take your leg off. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please like and share yeah, the video. Yeah, they can get up to 264 pounds. This is probably why you've made this shit video. But we Googled it, guys, and they're mainly in Indonesia. It didn't say anything about Australia. So if they are in Australia, it's in a very... Um, 
probably the northern part closest to Indonesia they might have um, migrated, but... Damn. What does it say? And they're really mean. Yeah, they're really mean because they're a big reptile. Wasn't there a Komodo dragon in one of the Disney shows? Probably, yeah, I think so. But was it real or fake? I don't remember what show it was. It just sounds familiar. No matter what reaction people have, either thumbs up or thumbs down, you're still getting comments, likes, shares, and dickheads like me are talking about you. You're getting the views you want. I get that's why you made this video full of inaccuracies. But listen here, fuckfaces. This is a message directly to you and everyone in your gloomy, doomy country. Here's 10 reasons you should come to Australia. Number 10. It's fucking sick. It's fucking great, mate. Seriously, fucking get here. It's awesome. Number 9. You can always get a feed. There's always a Barbie going somewhere. You can even get it down the local hardware store. Like, how good's that? Fuck me. Number 7. It's not England. <laughs> Number yeah, eight, exactly. there's very little shit weather. It's either fucking hot or fucking cold. Or if you live in the Northern Territory, it's fucking hot or very fucking hot or super fucking hot. Number six, thongs. Thongs are great. Number seven, beer. Beer is great. Number four, there's top sorts everywhere. Number three, amazing beaches. Yes, there are rip currents, but just stay out of the fucking rip currents. Number two, most Australians are mad cunts. Number one, accurate fucking lists. We're known for our accurate lists, and we will continue to be known for oh, our shit. accurate lists. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, like the video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, check out my Instagram, and just be a good motherfucker. My name's Isaac Butterfield. Peace in the Middle East, etc. There it is, guys. That was Isaac Butterfield. Go and subscribe if you guys like that content. I find him very funny. I love aggressive crude humor. Like, that's the best shit ever. Um, I'm going to subscribe to him right now. Bam. You guys should, too. Is this a Komodo dragon? Yeah, it looks like a Komodo dragon. So, yeah, that was on... Um, it's a smaller one, though. On the channel, Je or on the show Jesse on Disney Channel. I never watched it, but I know the kids that I used to babysit did, and... I was like, dude, why is that? Why do they got that thing on there? They're very dangerous, too, apparently. Maybe it's a good one or something? Oh, it's probably one that's domesticated to a point where it's probably got its teeth removed or something like crazy, you know? Yeah. Because, know. guys, the bacteria that builds up in a Komodo dragon's mouth is so vile, it's like one of the most toxic things there are in this world to get really? bit by. And it will kill you. And it's not even poison, it's just bacteria. It's so gross in their mouth and dirty. That when Why it bites though? you, it instantly infects your whole arm with just like a How nasty. How come their mouths get like that over everything? Because they, when they swallow, it doesn't matter because of their digestive tract. So their teeth don't care. Or they don't care about keeping their mouths clean, and they use that to their advantage as a poison to help take down animals. So anyway, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe for Isaac. And peace out. Bye.